I moved to this posh neighborhood in Copenhagen, and and it, it, no it knocked on my door, and there was this famous Danish children's psychologist standing there in the snow, and he said, did you do a movie called Festen, or The Celebration, a, a film I did some years ago? Um, I said, yes, and he said, well, then there's another movie you also have to do. I said, well, fine, and good evening, and closed <laughs> the door. Oh, you didn't uh, engage. I, I, and he said, well, read these files, please. Um, and I, I did seven years later when I needed a psychiatrist and I for, <laughs> uh, for myself. <laughs> uh, so I read these uh, cases and I was um, shocked by them and uh, thrilled and uh, horrified and a lot of different emotions um, came to me. Um, and I also thought that there was a potential drama, great drama in it. And I, and I felt it was an important story to, to tell as well. The children are victims again in these kind of cases. A child like her in the movie, or those in the real life, who grows up in a perfect illusion that something happened to them, being sent to the gynecologist, being interrogated, uh, having a mother crying and a father getting into fights, someone is being sent to prison, maybe someone she really likes, uh, ends up believing that this has happened. It's, it's getting implanted in their memory. It's what, what is called added memory. And they grow up as victims and grow up with similar problems as those who are real victims. And I thought that was something that needed to be told. It was very important for, for Thomas and Tobias, and, and, and also when I read it, that, that we didn't make it into a thriller. Uh, for us, it would be too banal. We wanted it to be a film about the interaction between people and how, in this case, great love can turn into enormous fear and eventually enormous hate, and how simple and small means that takes. It was a challenge, yo, though. People, people are used to the convention of being played around with, and they expect that. So every time we had a camera and a bit of a low angle and steamy glasses on Matt, and he l did look a bit pedophile, we, we had to change the angle very quickly. <laughs> I've always wanted to work with Thomas. And then he gave me the script, and I found it... Uh, beautiful and heartbreaking and, and also very, very frustrating to read. I think we all have that feeling, I did at, at least when I read it, that <coughs> I needed something to happen. Well, why, why is he not doing it? I needed my anger to go somewhere. I wanted to hit something. I wanted to scream out something. But, but, but I couldn't point my finger at any enemy. I, I understood my friend. I understood the principal at the kindergarten. I understood the little kid. So that f frustration <laughs> was... was um, was a good reason to show this film, I think, and, and make this film like it was, because that's exactly how Lucas feels, and like what we experience, and when we watch it, we cannot put our anger anywhere. What did you guys learn as filmmakers in, in doing this film? Every making of a film has its own mysteries. If you find the right balance between preparing, a lot of preparation, a lot of hard work, and then letting go, Letting, letting the irrationalities take over, then you're in a good place. Mats was very thorough, asked a lot of questions. We worked through the script, worked it over again, changed the character from what it was in the script to something else, mm -hmm. uh, and constantly refined the material up until in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. And then he could let go. Then he could cry. Then he could this and this and that. and. Um, and that well, for me how was, long was preparation, R writing and getting it together. Well, writing was was a long time. I think it was the you know I was doing other projects. I, I'm doing theater at the same time, so, but it was like it was over a year. Mm -hmm. I tried to set it in America. Oh. It took one and a half hour to find out that it would never be possible <laughs> to finance a story like that. We can still be surprised about what, what we do and what the result is, I mean, even though you plan as much as we did and mm -hmm. we're anticipating a certain atmosphere or a certain scene that will do this and this for the film, mm -hmm. you will still get surprised with uh, another scene that did something you did not expect. And for me, that was maybe one of my, maybe my favorite scene in the film is with the scene where the little girl is being interviewed by this psychiatrist, which is an actual... Um, it's a transcript. It's transcript from an interview in, in Norway with a little girl. So when I read it, I was like, nah, I don't believe that. But it was actually much worse. They had to take things out. Uh, so, but it's, that is obviously horrifying watching, but 
because she was so good and because everything was so magic about what she did. Mm -hmm. And they keep asking her questions. She wants to go out and play with her friends, and she's, she's feeling embarrassed about the whole thing. But when she eventually goes knock, nodding, when you ask her, did it happen in this room? And she eventually got, just gives up and nods. There was, a little, there was a little watch in the back room that went ding at that moment. And right there, the first time I saw it, I went like, his life is over. This man's life is over because of that little knot. Uh, believe me, it's much, much worse when, when you read these cases, what, what people do. Uh, a lot of the times, it's the parents themselves who go back to their kids, and they keep asking the same question until the ki kid nods, and until the kid starts dreaming that answer, and it becomes part of their memory. I just want to add, and I'm sure I don't have to say this, but uh, we're not questioning uh, the fact that there are thousands and thousands of kids being um, abused out there. Mm -hmm. This is not what this film is about. This is obviously a take on the other side of the coin. We, we still know that uh, there's a lot of work to do out there for the little ones, but we're making a film to clarify that you can also be a victim as a little kid when the opposite happens. Mm 